Hey guys, Jessica here, fitness model from Miami. Today I'm gonna show you how to build a nice round butt and sexy thighs just using a barbell. So just follow me, and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite workouts. We're gonna start off doing squats. These are gonna be a little bit more wider set, so make sure your legs are um, shoulder a little bit more than shoulder width apart, toes out. You wanna go down. Don't let your knees pass your toes. Booty back, sit on it, and keep your chest and your back straight, okay? So we're gonna get started with about 25 reps. Okay, let's go. Make sure you keep your core tight and squeeze through your butt when you come up. Make sure you're keeping your weight on your heels. And when you come up, you're squeezing with your butt. So it can give you a nice, nice little burn. Okay, we're gonna finish up our last five reps. Now we're gonna take a little one minute rest and then go into a regular squats. Last one. Okay. The white squats are really great because they're gonna target your inner, inner thigh. So now that we did those, we're gonna jump into regular squats so we can really target the booty. Okay, let's go. So, have your feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you put your butt back and sit on it. Okay, last five reps. Make sure you're squeezing the booty. Keep your chest up. Next, we're gonna go into reverse lunges. So we're just gonna go back. We're gonna do the first set all the way with your bent leg. And then the second set, we're just gonna go back without bending your back leg, okay? Let's do it. Make sure you keep your weight in the front heel and don't let your knee go past your toes. Just keep your chest up and your core tight and don't forget to breathe. And don't touch the floor with your back knee, just right above the floor. We're gonna take our one minute break and then go into the straight leg. Now we're gonna go into the straight leg reverse lunges. So you're gonna go back without bending your leg, keeping your front knee without passing your toes and keeping your back straight, but not too arch. So you wanna go just down like that and feel the stretch and feel this tar being targeted. Same thing with the other one, down without bending your knee. Okay? You're gonna also feel the stretch in your hip flexors. Let's wrap it out.
Let's do our last five reps. Right now we're going to do some deadlifts. These are really great to target the back of your legs, which is your hamstrings, and to keep your booty up. This is a pretty advanced workout, so if you've never done it, um, make sure that you're doing it with very light weight because you could hurt your back. So you want to go down, and when you come up, you don't want to use your back at all. You want to squeeze up just using your hamstrings, okay? So if you've never done it, just be really careful and keep your core tight, okay? So we're going to start your legs a little closer than your shoulders. Just stretch all the way down, and when you come up, you're gonna squeeze with your hamstrings, okay? Keep your core tight. Okay. Squeeze your booty when you come up too. And make sure you're pulling with your hamstrings and not using your back at all. And also don't lock your knees. For our last workout, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a squat and then jump into reverse lunges, okay? So we're going to do about 20 to 25 reps. Okay, let's do it. Well, there you have it. That was a great barbell workout. Today, I only used about 40 pounds. I was trying to keep it light and just high rep. Um, you can increase the weight depending on, on how advanced you are. Just make sure the most important thing is to always have the good form, keeping your stomach tight and going as low as you can. Okay, just make sure you like and subscribe to the, to the account and I'll see you guys soon.